Here's what the wind tunnel test will tell us. When air moves over the glider wing, it creates an upward force called lift, which keeps the glider in the air. Air moving over the wing also pushes against it, creating a backward force called drag, which slows the glider down. The angle of the wing moving through the air is called the angle of attack. Increasing the angle of attack increases the amount of lift and the amount of drag from the wing. If you can find the amount of lift and drag at different angles of attack, and then divide lift by drag, you'll find the best combination of more lift and less drag that will make the glider fly as far as possible. But you have to be careful. If the angle of attack gets too big, the lift actually gets smaller and the drag gets much larger, causing the plane to stall or lose altitude.